Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chalvan, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchamudu. Today we discuss about the subject Principles of Management. In that subject we discuss about the topic Organizing. Here, what is Organizing? It is a process of identifying and grouping of the work to be performed, defining and delegating responsibility and authority and establish a relationship for the purpose of enabling people to work most efficiently, effectively. Then next we discuss about principles of organization. There are five points are avail available. The first one is for unity of goal, then span of control, then chain of command, then principle of unity of command, then principle of delegation of authority. We will discuss one by one. The first two point we will discuss about unity of goal. The organizing functions should be directed towards achieving the goal. The next one is for principles of span of control. It means there should be limited number of subordinate under a superior. Then chain of command. The line of authority from CEO to every subordinate person. Then unity of command. Here each subordinate should have only one boss. No person should report more than one boss. Then principles of delegation of authority should be adequate to accomplish expected result. Then next we discuss about types of organization. Here first one is for line organization, line and staff organization, functional organization, divisional, then project, matrix and committee organization. Let us discuss one by one. The first one is for functional organization. Employees are grouped together according to their similar tasks, skills or activities. Functional structures are suitable for SMEs with a high level specialization. The decisions of making is centralized at the top of the organization. Then next we discuss about line organization. Here, it, here the line organization authority is delegated directly from top to bottom. There is vertical line of authority. Here the man at the top has the highest authority and it is reduced at each successive level down the hierarchy. Then next we discuss about line and staff organization. Here staff authority is used to support the line authority. Here line and staff authority have, the, have both line and staff executive. Here the executives are assisted by the staff specialized in planning, distribution, scholarly, legal, audit and public relations. Then next we discuss about span of control. Here the number of people who report to other manager in a hierarchy. The more people under the control of one manager, the wider the span of control. Less means a narrow span of control. For example, the below is shown a span of control of four of the marketing manager. The one is for marketing manager has the four categories. The first one is for marketing assistance, then marketing research. Then tele-sales tele supervisor, then customer care assistance. Then next we discuss about staffing. Here the staffing is the third function of management. It is the process of filling person in the organization with a skilled and qualified person. Functional functions of staffing is performed by the manager, which is called the human resource for HR department. The staffing is primarily concerned with the right person for the right position. Then next we discuss about nature of staffing. Here it is the basic functions of management. It is concerned with human resource management in the organization. Here the staffing functions is performed continuously. The main purpose of this function is to make a optimum use of human resources. Then staffing is performed by all level of manager. Here the staffing is different from other managerial functions. Because it deals with the human needs, emotions and aspirations. Thank you for watching this video.